right. Hello, everybody. This is my first, I guess, ever IRL in real life recording for Twitch. Not a huge big deal. I've done a lot of it on YouTube. It's kind of fun. First time I've ever done it for here. And the reason why I think it's kind of cool to do it is I'm a fan of the app called Untapped which does beer logging. It's kind of a four square for beer is how I like to say. I've been on it since March 12th, 2011, and I'm coming up obviously on being on the platform for seven years. What's also really cool about it is uh, tonight I'm going to be breaking my 1000th unique beer that I've logged on the platform. So I'm really excited about that and that's why I'm going to crack open the last six that I have to get there uh, taste them now on live on this and then I'm going to probably hop over into Sea of Thieves in a little bit because I want to sail the seas and I can nurse a couple of those beers while I'm doing it. But yeah, I'm really excited. I've been working for this for a long time. I actually am even wearing my untapped hoodie for tonight and it's going to be fun. So I should probably mention I'm doing this on Facebook too before I get started, right? Yeah. earlier probably right ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. cool alrighty so we're gonna go ahead and get started nothing too crazy but we're gonna get started so first one we have is actually from Bells it's called Larry's Latest Sour Ale. It's pretty interesting. Nothing, nothing too nuts, but it looks like it's going to be good. So one of the key parts about this is I got to make sure that I log every single one of them because otherwise, what's the point? And that's not really true. I mean, the big reason why I've done this, besides the fact that I really enjoy doing it, is the fact that it's really cool to kind of figure out what you like. This can go from anything to beer, to coffee, to wine, to bourbon, whatever, brownies, chocolate, candles, video games. Sometimes you just have to try a lot of things to figure out what makes the most sense. Wow, that is a sour ale. Kettle soured ale with dry hop burst. It's kind of lemonade-ish, which is interesting. Not too shabby. All right, no, there's a can hiding in here. I gotta get that out. All right. Um, obviously, I would say that the other big disclaimer that I have is, well, only do this if you're of the legal drinking age in whatever country you're watching, because otherwise that would be bad. Cool. So 995 is down right now. Let's see, so 996. If I can scan it, is going to be what's called Priscilla, a white with wheat beer by Oscar Blues Brewing. Now, if these all sound completely random and I'm not tasting them in order, that's because they are. <laughs> I had to go to Giant Eagle Market District, which is a local shopping place that's uh, not too far away from my house, and literally stand in the individual beer section for probably a good 20 minutes scanning every single beer available to find 12 that I hadn't had before. Um, it's something that even when I think I haven't had something, I might have had it, or it might have had uh, the only variation that matters according to Untapped on it. Um, there are thousands upon thousands upon thousands of beers on Untapped, so it's not incredibly hard. It's just that if you really want to go obscure, you either have to travel, you have to go to a brewery, you have to find some limited edition stuff, stuff like that, because most of the stuff that you find in stores is 
common and once you've checked into it if you're going for unique beers to kind of you know widen your experience and figure out what palette you know what's your palette it can be harder and harder to find so that's something that I had to go figure out here are 12 beers that I can get easily that aren't too expensive that I haven't had yet that knock me over that 1,000th yeah that is a white wit pale nothing incredibly crazy not bad just it's all right um, I would definitely say that a few of these are probably beers that either I wouldn't normally get or not necessarily care for just because I'm not a huge fan of them. Um, I generally, the lighter white and wits I like, but more of a fruity stance of them. And generally. All right. So, go ahead and check into that one. All right. So, the next one we're going to do Bedhead Red, Redhead Lager Ale Brewing Co. And this one's going to be. What did I say? 997? 910? Yep. So let's go ahead and scan this one. So one of the cool things the Untapped app has is it actually has the ability to do a barcode scan, which is definitely easier than searching for it. Sometimes that barcode scan doesn't necessarily work. Or what's kind of interesting I found out is that, excuse me, some breweries reuse barcodes I had no idea so sometimes when you actually scan one multiple ones will come up if they've only bought a few barcodes the reasoning behind that is barcodes are expensive and you have to buy a lot of them when you first are starting up if you're planning on having a large product line if not it's very expensive to add on to them because you're basically buying number batches from what I understand so so that's not a bad red ale. It's not anything fancy. It's actually kind of inoffensive. I almost want to say bland, but it is definitely not as complex as I thought it might be. But it is local, which is cool. Yeah, so pretty, pretty all right. Not terrible. Not the best thing in the world, but... The cool thing about this is that it's stuff is definitely always drinkable. So, so where am I? Because I feel like I'm messing up my count. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. All right. So this is eight. Nine hundred and ninety-eight. Wow. It's been a long time coming. So the next one is Southern Tears New School IPA, and it's basically Southern Tears IPA. There we go. I have to say I am a generally a good IPA fan, or I enjoy good IPAs, one of the two. The kind of the more important thing about that is that it's got to be hoppy, but I don't like an incredible amount of bitterness, or if that's the case, I can only do a couple of them, just because otherwise I just feel like eventually I'm you know, licking an ashtray or chewing on an old lemon or something like that. So it's not always it's not always fun to be drinking super, super hoppy, bitty, bitter IPAs all the time because of that. However, one of my favorite beers is actually a red ale IPA by Ithaca Bruco, which is super hoppy on the nose and on the beginning, but it finishes crisp and it doesn't have a bitter aftertaste. So you can actually drink it very easily. That happens to be my fav one of my favorite beers ever. And that was probably discovered around, well, well before I was on the untapped platform, but I'd say it's within my first 100 or 200 beers that I've checked into that being said, it's very hard to find outside the state of New York. It's Ithaca Beer Co. is Ithaca, New York, so it's upstate New York. So it can be hard to find, but it's definitely worth it. Cool. Pretty tasty. It's definitely better than the one I had before, which is probably because it's an IPA, not a pale ale or a wit. Ah. So, 99. 
is going to be a decadent dark chocolate ale by Atwater Brewing, which I guess is technically a malt beverage brewed with chocolate, but it's on the untapped platform, so it counts in my book. So that is going to be 999. So this is basically completely different from what I'm having before. Wow. That is really good. It's basically almost like drinking a chocolate milk. Like, literally. It just tastes like you're drinking chocolate milk. Um, which I guess is good and bad, but it is extremely chocolatey. Uh, which, obviously, I guess, decadent dark chocolate ale. Duh. But... Yeah, it's it's chocolatey. It, it's definitely light on the carbonation too. So, all right, just got three badges for that. Cool. And I definitely need to get some sound effects on this thing, don't I? Yeah. All right. So the last one I'm gonna do, number one thousand. It's gonna be from Guinness Rye Pale Ale. This is no super awesome significance except for the fact that it happens to be Guinness, which I'm a huge fan of. It looks like it's going to be pretty good. Um, and I haven't checked into it yet, so that's going to be number 1,000. So I'm going to go ahead and scan this bad boy. I wonder if this is actually... No, oh, this is actually brewed in Ireland. It's not brewed in the U.S. yet. I believe they're going to start brewing some of their stuff out of the Maryland brewery that they've done. I think. I'm not entirely positive. They might. But, um, hi, Bob. <laughs> yeah, beer! Uh, I really hope I'm not violating the terms of service of Twitch right now. But, anyway, I really wanted to show the fact that we've checked into something. Because that's going to be cool. Or, you know, even that. Just breaking, breaking a record, man. Breaking a record. Because why not? Uh, yeah, I guess there's not a location here I can actually. Cool. All right, so let's see how this tastes. Well, that definitely doesn't taste like something I would normally expect out of Guinness. <laughs> Which is good, because it is not a stout. <laughs> it's a rye pale ale. <laughs> but it's good. I would say that it's definitely more rye-y than I was expecting. Uh, it kind of reminds me of basically drinking a... Oh, man. Basically take... Uh... Oh, God. kind of tastes like a, a rye bourbon that's not quite a bourbon yet like almost needs to be boiled but hey it's good cool and we've done it one let's see 1000 unique beers checked into it's taken me basically almost seven years to the day give or take a couple days to get there which is nice oh man it is tasty. So, yes, Bob, I do plan to actually drink most of these because what is Sailing the Seas as a Pirate without beer? It's not as fun. So, that with that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and get everything ready for the Sea of Thieves final beta um, and basically kind of drop off, get everything ready, and then come back up to start sailing the sea seas as a pirate. But yeah, thanks. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I, this is actually probably the most concurrent viewers I've had in something in a long time. All I need to do is taste beer on, live, on, live on stream. But yeah, next badge, I believe, is 2,500, so that's gonna probably take me a long time to get there. Probably some traveling involved, but should be fun. Anyway, I'll be right back.